to Art Club. Today we're going to feature an artist named Gustav Klimt. He was an Austrian painter and he was known for making very decorative and beautiful paintings using ornamental gold leaf. One of his most famous paintings called The Tree of Life is what we're going to base our project on. We're going to be using a rock and some copper wire and beads and we're going to make our own little tree. For our book today, we're going to read Only a Tree Knows How to Be a Tree by Mary Murphy. Only a tree knows how to be a tree. A tree has leaves that turn sunshine into tree food. Amazing. Later, the leaves change color and twirl to the ground. A tree gives shelter. It can be a home. Only a tree knows how to be a tree. Birds build nests for homes. They sing different songs and their babies hatch from eggs. Best of all, they can fly. Only a bird knows how to be a bird. Dogs are our friends. They play with us and love us. They wag their tail and move their ears to show us how they feel. They flick water into their mouth to drink. I can't do that, but then only a dog knows how to be a dog. Water has no color, but you can see it. It makes rivers and oceans, clouds and rain and snow. Fish live in water. They flash like jewels. Everyone needs water. Only water knows how to be water. Only fish know how to be fish. Earth is where we live, with all the plants, animals, oceans, mountains, and rivers. Earth spins around and gives us day and night. It tilts through the year and gives us seasons. There are countless stars in the universe and many, many planets, but Earth is our home. Only Earth knows how to be Earth. Every comet, flower, cat, and beetle. Every cloud, frog, stone, and duck. Every mountain, river, and deer is different. Every tree is different. And they are all the only ones who know how to be them. As for people, there are billions of us. We eat and talk, sing and walk. We work, we play, we tell stories. Every person has their own thoughts in their head and their own feelings in their heart. Every single person is different and only they know how to be them. Only I know how to be me and only you know how to be you. The end. That's Only a Tree Knows How to Be a Tree by Mary Murphy. For this project, you should have these items in your art kit. One rock, copper wire, a container of brown paint, some colored beads, and a paintbrush. If you have more paint at home, you can paint your rock any color you like. You can make it a rainbow, red, green, blue, orange, yellow, or any color you like. 
I included brown paint in your art kit so it can look like soil. But remember, this is your project, so you can make your rock any color you like. I'm going to put a little brown paint on the paper plate. And I'm going to start painting the rock. It's okay if you get some paint on your hands. It's washable. I got some paint on my hands, but that's okay. I'm just gonna go wash it off. I painted this rock earlier, so this one's fully dry. For your rock, you'll probably have to wait about 15 to 20 minutes for it to dry. Let's use this one for now. So you're going to take your first piece of copper wire and place the rock in the middle of the wire. Then, join the wire and just start twisting it. Just twist it. Until you get a tree trunk. These are going to be our branches. Now I'm going to take the second wire and do the same thing. So I joined the two wires. You may need to adjust the wire around the rock. Just make sure that it's tight enough that it's not slipping off. So there are my two wires. Now I'm going to take the third wire and do the same thing. I'm going to place the rock in the center of the wire, tighten it around the rock, and twist it around the tree trunk that we already made. I'm also spreading the wire around the rock. That way the tree will be more stable. The wires up here are going to be our tree branches. You can shape the branches however you like. Now let's take the beads from your art kit and start placing them on the branches of the tree. This is where you can get creative. So I'm taking different beads and placing them on the branches of the tree. When you finish placing the beads on your branch, just take the end of the copper wire and twist it toward the tree. That way, the beads won't fall off. And then you can shape your branch however you like.
Make sure that you leave enough wire at the end of each branch so you can twist it and close the branch. So there's my second branch. There's my third branch. I left enough space on the copper wire to twist it and close the branch. There's my next branch. I'm going to keep decorating my tree. There's my next branch. There's my other branch. There's my last branch. I twisted all the ends of the branches toward the tree so none of the beads can come off. Now you can shape your branches however you like. Gustav Klimt was an Austrian painter known for his highly decorative style. He was born in Vienna, Austria on July 14, 1862. Gustav grew up poor, but displayed artistic talent from an early age. At 14 years old, Gustav left his normal school to attend the Vienna School of Arts and Crafts on a full scholarship. After his graduation in 1883, he opened a studio with his younger brother and their mutual friend. Calling themselves the Company of Artists, the trio agreed to focus their work on murals. They won numerous commissions to paint churches, theaters, and other public spaces. In 1890, they joined the Vienna Artists Association. This was a group that controlled what art was shown in the city. Gustav, however, wanted to develop his own personal style. So in 1897, he became one of the founders of a new organization known as the Vienna Secession. In the early 1900s, Gustav was in the midst of what is commonly referred to as his golden phase. He created a series of paintings using ornamental gold leaf. Perhaps the most famous work from this period is the 1907 portrait of Adele Block Bauer, which eventually sold at auction for $135 million. It is currently on display at the New Gallery in New York City. Gustav Klimt died on February 6, 1918, at the age of 55, in Vienna, Austria.